Hello. Today's topic is about mastering. What is mastering? Mastering is when you actually get your track that is mixed and you play it in your car and you say, wow, it's a really good mix, but I don't feel that it's as loud as everything else I hear. So how can you get it there? Well, mastering is what you need to do. Um, not only that, but it glues the whole mix together and just makes it sound finished like a record. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, play the song that we're doing today. It's by my friend. I will put the link and description below for the song. It's not released yet, but he gave me permission to use this track. Um, let's check out what the mix sounds like before it gets mastered. Sometimes life is hard and sometimes you're struggling. I feel like God is nowhere to be found. <laughs> All you want to do sometimes is just holler, cry out to the living God. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into this. First thing I do is I have a meter here and I try to see where I'm at with my, my mix. And I put it, you can put it at peak. What is peak and RMS? Peak tells you what is the highest point of the track. And RMS is root mean square, which is pretty much the average of the overall track. So not just these little peaks. What is the overall average level of the track? So let's listen to it one more time. Life is hard and sometimes you're struggling. I feel like God is nowhere to be found. <laughs> All you want to do sometimes is just holler, cry out to the living God. Okay, so we're hitting about 12 RMS, right? So I, the first thing I did was, in order to get it loud, I got to bring the track back down. So I used this plugin by DigiDesign or Avid. I don't know who makes this. It's a stock plugin in Pro Tools. And I reduced this track by 3.5 decibels. So let's see what that sounds like before we did that. Sometimes life is hard and sometimes you're struggling. Feel like God is nowhere to be found. And then I'm gonna do the minus three and a half decibels here. All it does is cut the volume down, and then we'll check out our meter where we're at now. Sometimes life is hard, and sometimes you're struggling. Feel like God is nowhere to be found. <laughs> All you wanna do sometimes is just holler, cry out to the living God. So before we were at at 12, my, and now we're about minus 15, somewhere around there. So let, let's let's move on to the next step. First thing I use is a CLA-2A plugin, which is an emulation of the LA-2A. And um, pretty much, I don't do nothing to it. All I do is run it through it to, to emulate that it's going through the LA-2A circuit, which makes it sound really nice, gives it that analog type feel. Gives it a different vibe. So let's listen to it. Um, I recommend you listen to it on good headphones or on a pair of good studio monitors so you can hear these subtle changes. Because mastering is a thing of subtle move. Uh, you're real gentle with everything you do. You don't do like real big moves on it. So let's listen to that now. Sometimes life is hard and sometimes you're struggling. I feel like God is nowhere to be found. <laughs> All you want to do sometimes is just holler, cry out to the living God. Help me, Lord, please help me, help me, Lord, nothing with So it's really, really subtle what it does, but I like it. I put it in there for that reason. Next thing I do is um, I use a Pro Q. Uh, it's the EQ by Fab Filter, and I do a bit of mid-side 
EQ. What is mid-side EQ? Mid-side EQ is um, where you can use the same EQ on the signal and you can EQ the sides of the track differently than you do the middle of the track. So let's listen to what that sounds like without it and then I'll explain what I did. Sometimes life is hard and sometimes you're struggling. Feel like God is nowhere to be found. <laughs> All you want to do sometimes is just holler. Cry out to the living God. So now it sounds more like the recording opened up. Everything sounds like it went to its place. So what I did here was uh, I had, I mean, a high pass filter, which is a low cut, and I did it down the stereo. So here you can select if you want to EQ the middle or the sides. I did it here so it affects uh, both of them. And then I went here down the middle and I did a boost at about 90 hertz just to give it a little bit more bass. Not on the sides, though. It's only in the middle. The sides, nothing happened there. Then on the sides, I went and I did another low, a high pass filter at about um, 82 hertz. Just so everything below 82 hertz doesn't go on the sides, it just stays in the middle, makes it sound more compact. And then after that, I added a little bit of, of uh, two hertz, two kilohertz in the middle, about 1.1. Uh, decibels you don't you don't want to add more than two or three decibels maximum and that's really pushing it because you got to imagine if you're on a big console and you add a decibel to every single channel of a certain frequency it's going to add up to be a lot so you got to be really gentle and on the sides here i also added a high shelf at about uh nine hertz just to give it some air on the sides in the middle i cut that out here and i and I added a boost here. That's, I, I did, the track sounds really good the way it is, so I didn't have to do much to it. I did the mix on it, actually. So here it is. Sometimes life is hard and sometimes you're struggling. Feel like God is nowhere to be found. <laughs> All you want to do sometimes is just holler, cry out to the living God. So to me now I can hear everything in its own place and I hear like the kick has a bit more 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 girth to it, more power. So I'm gonna move on to the next one. I use it's called multi-band compression. So basically you can compress different bands and you select where it's at. Um here I use a C6 by waves and really I didn't do much to it. I just went here to a default B master, which is this one. Mastering b or a i think i used anyways that's all i used and um let's listen to it it's mastering b sometimes life is hard and sometimes you're struggling feel like god is nowhere to be found <laughs> all you want to do sometimes is just holler cry out to the living god Okay, so now it seems like like the low end, the kick where I added a little bit of extra EQ there, uh, now it controls it and it just made it tight. And then the top end, I just added a little bit more highs and when it gets out of control, it'll compress them. 
So that's pretty much all I did. Um, it sounds really good now. And the last step that I do is I use a limiter. I use an L1 by waves. So the output ceiling here is uh, what's the highest it'll let it go here without peaking. So we go um, at zero there, then um, it'll always hit red there. So I go minus one, so it'll go as loud as possible without hitting red. And the threshold is um, how much gain reduction am I making? So it'll it'll push it up. So let, let let's I use the link button here. So the name of the game here is when whenever you hold your mouse down and you go down, you listen to the track and you go down as far as you can, and you go as far as you can without hearing any distortion. Once you start hearing a little bit of distortion, you pull back, and then you could uh, raise the output ceiling. So let's check it out. Sometimes life is hard, and sometimes you're struggling. Feel like God is nowhere to be found. <laughs> All you want to do sometimes is just holler, cry out to the living God. So I'm going to exaggerate it and make it go down to where it sounds distorted. It kind of sucks the life out of, it compresses the the whole track and it sucks the life out of the low end. And you can hear it kind of distorting. And I'm going to go down, I think that was about the sweet spot there, minus 9.1. I'm going to mess with it one more time so you can hear where I'm going to exaggerate. And then I'll pull it back and leave it where it's supposed to be, which is minus 9.1. Sometimes life is hard and sometimes you're struggling. Feel like God is nowhere to be found. <laughs> All you want to do sometimes is just holler, cry out to the living God. Now I'm going to pull the out ceiling out so we can get our volume and then we'll compare it to the way it was before we started and now. Sometimes life is hard and sometimes you're struggling. Feel like God is nowhere to be found. <laughs> All you want to do sometimes is just holler, cry out to the living God. Now I'll bypass it and turn it on so you can see the difference in volume. And then we'll start all the way from the beginning with all the plugins we added and see where we started and what we have now. difference um i'm gonna start without the trim plugin i'm gonna start right where we started here and then we'll see what it sounds like before and after i'm just gonna go through all the settings one by one bypass and active and then um i'll just move on to the next one for time's sake
victory All you hurting deep inside, all you broken with fear Overwhelmed by the way that you're seeing shit so many tears Do you ever think of him stepping in the side with a spear? Have you ever turned to him and been so sincere? Asking Jesus for forgiveness, surrendering all to him Dedicating yourself like you would go to a so that's the big difference there that you get when you master. And I also printed a track that looks just like the one that we have now. And uh, let's see what the wave looks like as far as difference of volume. So they're here about the same. What is this? Large. Let's go jumbo on both of them. Jumbo. Jumbo. And that's the difference in volume there. Wow, what a difference. <laughs>